because it has been, and I had to keep fact checking myself, that it has actually been 10 years since the most traumatic episode of television in the world. And I think you know what I'm gonna say. It's a little episode called The Red Wedding of Game of Thrones. Jeez, that was horrible. Horrible. I still have PTSD from it. I don't watch weddings on HBO. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken away weddings from you. <laughs> Can you believe it's been 10 years and, and how often has that God, brought up that to you? It ages me now. Feel, I think I'm like, oh God, it's been old 10 years. Years. Um, Yeah, I still have fond memories of, of that whole experience. And um, I mean, not that particular scene, but the whole experience I have fond memories of. And it was kind of, you know, it's nice to be back into you know recurring series drama where you get so much time to tell a story and then you get these huge payoffs like that you know three seasons deep we got to have this you know horrible death um with characters that you're invested in i mean i think that's kind of our ambition here too is to to create a huge world and get to know these people well catch did you just throw a knife at me i thought you were gonna catch it they better not kill off one of you this season <laughs> You get to use some amazing spy gadgets in the show, some fun things. If you could take any of them home, make them a reality, which spy gadget would you want to have? I don't. You're a hologram. I want the hologram. Yeah, Richard has this freaking the watch, watch hologram that can just go around and do stuff for me. Stanley didn't make it. me. Yeah, he didn't make me very cool gadgets. He got me like a Lip compact thing. that becomes a grenade. Like I don't want a grenade That's at good. home. That's good. It's just no, impractical. But, you, but the hologram's amazing. <laughs> Stick them in front of a zoom. <laughs> no one will know, you're not there. Right? You guys have done a range from like rom-coms, menacing action. Is there an itch that you feel like either of you have not scratched yet that you would love to do in your career? I mean, I have a lot. I I feel like in my Hindi language or Bollywood career, I did many, many variety of genres and parts. And I feel like in my English language work, I want to do a lot more of that. Drama, I don't know what it is, but um, that's something I want to explore a little bit of. What about you? I'd like to do something in comedy. I know. It's nice to not, I mean, we go to work every day and we're like, you're gonna die, yeah. do this. And I'm like, it's like I've been killed so many times. <laughs> do something fun for a minute. Can I do something fun? I'm putting that out there. Something, something in the comedy You world. heard it here first.